Happy Tuesday, guys. Today we got a five round workout. Uh, we got 25 wall balls, 15 ring dips, and two strict ring muscle ups. So the focus of today is to build muscle endurance. We're building lower body and upper body muscle endurance. We got lots of wall balls, and then with the ring dips and the ring muscle up combo, we're really working on that press here. So um, to switch our focus here, with the ring dips, really working on that press, and then with the strict ring muscle ups, we're gonna be more challenged with that pull. So in terms of progression, since we got kind of that ring dip in both of them, focus on your ring dips here for your strict ring muscle up. If you don't have that strict ring muscle up, try to focus on a progression that will challenge your pulling strength. So that might mean instead of doing that strict ring muscle up, maybe you hang from the rings, and in a false grip, you do some pull-ups. You do two pull-ups from there. If that's not available to you, maybe you can do some uh, horizontal ring pull-ups, but again, you hold yourself in that false grip position. That's gonna help you guys build that strength. It's gonna really get deep into that bicep and also develop better wrist strength. If you can get that better wrist strength, that's gonna also translate into your pull-ups as well. So instead of grabbing the rings with a regular grip, Try it with a false grip now and go into that horizontal position and do two reps uh, from there or actually double this rep and go four reps. I would say if you are just doing that ring, um, horizontal ring progression, ring row progression. If um, you want, you can also do this off the bar too. If you wanna do some strict pull-ups, you can do uh, some chest to bars or some strict chin over bar pull-ups again to really emphasize the pulling strength here and to pull uh, emphasize the pushing strength on this one wall balls Keep them regular so keep that weight where you can stay consistent I would say something where you can do at least 15 reps of consistently make sure you're hitting that target and you get full depth on your squat while maintaining good technique across the board doing five rounds so break up your reps right off the bat since we're, there's a lot of reps um, in each movement so that you can stay consistent and get the most out of this workout today which is building muscle endurance in the lower body and in the upper body today so overall guys um, hope you enjoy that one again make sure you check out the extra stuff we got um, some extra videos that you can watch to help you guys with your development your strength and conditioning or in your overall health and fitness journey um, if you're not sure what to do um, again Extras are just below on your SugarWatt app. If you scroll down, you can see some videos or even some extra work that you might see on Mondays, for example. Um, again, if you don't know your direction, not sure really what you should be working on or focusing on, that is a perfect opportunity for you guys to set up a goal session review with a coach so you guys can get an idea of what your focus is. What is your why? What, what are you trying to get out of the classes or maybe what are your goals going forward? That session will help you guys really clear that out and set up a path to work towards that goal, whatever that is. Maybe you wanna get a better back squat, get stronger uh, in your lifts, or you wanna get a ring muscle up one day. How do we work towards it? How do we work backwards from there? So the goal session review is completely free. It's 30 minutes, it's a quick session, um, and you can get yourself kind of set up with the coach, and the coach can give you some direction going forward. You can set that up right on the Mind Body app, or even just talk to one of the coaches up the front and they can set you up to go forward. Hope you guys enjoyed today's workout. We'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one.